We have some good news for crab season. The number of blue crabs in the Chesapeake Bay is up from last year. But as Dennis Valera learned, there are still concerns about the population going forward. Seafood businesses like Captain Frank say it's great to see the blue crab population go up from last year, but they're also cautious, knowing we're still not out of the woods yet in terms of a good market. The Chesapeake Bay Foundation agrees. In this basket, over eight dozen blue crabs. It's the latest delivery for Captain Frank's seafood in Baltimore. Brittany Heise's family has owned Captain Frank's for decades. Aside from buying, they also go crabbing themselves. Still, the last few years have been hard for business, especially after last year's low number of crabs in the Chesapeake Bay. The price is really high, uh, but with everything being high, I didn't expect anything less. Um, but we're trucking through. But in their 2023 Blue Crab Winter Dredge Survey, the Maryland Department of Natural Resources and Virginia Institute of Marine Science estimate around 323 million crabs in the bay, up from 227 million in 2022, the survey's lowest. While male, female, and juvenile crabs are all up, juveniles are below average for the fourth year in a row, a point of concern for the Chesapeake Bay Foundation. If we don't have additional juvenile crabs coming along behind the crabs that are currently adults and being harvested, um, we are reducing the total potential we have in the future to bounce back from some of these low numbers that we saw. Allison Colden is a CBS Maryland executive director. She says environmental issues like declining seagrass acreage, as well as invasive species like blue catfish, continue to be problems for blue crabs. But the fact there's a slight rebound, it shows some things are working at least. We're hoping that Maryland and Virginia resource managers will consider keeping in place uh, at a minimum the uh, regulations that were put in last year to try and protect the male segment of the population. In Baltimore, I'm Dennis Valera for WJZ.